हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल एंड द एस्ट्रो साइकिल नाउ वेरी फर्स्ट यू सी दैट मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल एंड एस्ट्रो साइकिल बोथ अकर इन द केस ऑफ द मैमल्स ओके नाउ द मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल अकर्स इन द मैमल्स हु आर प्राइमेट्स एज वी नो वेरी वेल दैट प्राइमेट इज द लास्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैमल्स ओके आउट ऑफ द 16 ऑर्डर्स ऑफ द मैमल्स the last order is the primates so in the primates particularly the monkeys apes and the human beings okay monkeys apes and the human beings which are the primates which are actually showing the menstrual cycle while if we talk about the estrus cycle so estrus cycle is not found in the primate mammals they are actually found in the non primate mammals such as the cows dogs ships etc okay so the chief difference is that the menstrual cycle occur in the primates and the estrus cycle occur in the non primates the common examples are monkeys apes and human beings here the common examples are such as cows dogs ships etc okay now the second point of difference is that the menstrual cycle in the case of the primate mammals is of long duration say if we talk about the human beings in the case of the human beings the menstrual cycle is of 28 days and this menstrual cycle is completed in at least four phases okay the very first phase is the menstrual phase then the proliferative phase or we can also call it as the follicular phase the third phase is known as the ovulatory phase and the fourth phase is known as the luteal phase or the secretory phase so we can say that the entire menstrual cycle which is of the 28 days in the case of the mammals consists of four phases menstrual phase the second phase is the proliferative or the follicular phase the third phase is the ovulatory phase and the fourth phase is the luteal phase or the secretory phase but if we talk about the estrus cycle estrus cycle is not too much long basically it is very short in comparison to the menstrual cycle menstrual cycle in the case of the human beings was of 28 days but if we talk about the estrus cycle is it is of a very short period and that short period of the estrus cycle is called as the estrus period or the heat period okay and it varies from organism to organism but this heat period or the estrus period in the case of the cow is 12 to 24 hours when the cow will attract the male or the bull for the copulation purpose okay and when this short period or the estrus period or the heat period right is over then what happens that it is actually followed by the anestrus period or the passive period so the period of estrus or the heat period it is of short duration which is soon followed by a uh, an estrus or a passive period third you can see that it is a feature of the menstrual cycle that blood flows in the last few days of the uh, menstrual cycle in the menstrual cycle there are at least 3 to 5 days okay as soon as one cycle ends a new menstrual cycle starts so in the last few days of the menstrual cycle bleeding occur okay what happens the bleeding occurs but if we talk about the estrus cycle blood does not flow in this cycle okay blood does not flow in this cycle but here it is a continuous process after each 28 days menstruation will occur in the case of the female and the female will bleed for 3 to 5 days now the fourth point is that here the broken endometrium is passed out during menstruation now what happens basically in the menstruation menstruation is a way to shed out the thickened endometrium okay so here you can see the broken endometrium is passed out during the menstruation menstruation is a way to release out the endometrium which was thickened in particular days of the menstrual cycle okay now here the broken endometrium is not released out through the blood here the broken endometrium is reabsorbed so this is also a big difference that menstruation is a way to remove the endometrium from the body right but here the endometrium is not removed through the bleeding 
the endometrium is reabsorbed by the body itself okay the fifth point is that that here in the case of the menstrual cycle the sex urge is not increased okay sex urge is not increased in the female but in the estrus cycle what happens the sex urge in that particular estrus or the heat period is too much increased okay when the female will attract during this period the female will attract the male for the coitus or the copulation and the sixth and the last point is that that in the case of the menstrual cycle what happens that female does not permit copulation during the menstrual phase of the cycle menstrual phase of the cycle means when the bleeding occurs in the female for 3 to 5 days during that period the female will not permit the male for the copulation but in the case of the estrus cycle the female permits the male for the copulation means particularly in this phase only that is in that estrus phase or the heat period the female will be attracting the male for the purpose of the copulation okay so these are the differences between the menstrual cycle and the estrus cycle these are very important from the point of view of examination you must know thanks a lot keep watching my videos